Would you rather show me your private parts or your search history? <laughs> Lock up your children! Because today's video isn't family friendly. I know they're gonna unmonetize it, so I might as well go all the way, right? Charity is important! So instead, I'm just giving you an unmonetizable video. That's gonna blow your mind. We're gonna do this up Shane Dawson style. All of these conspiracies are just for entertainment purposes. They probably aren't true. This is just my imagination running wild and I'm inviting you along for the ride. But I'm gonna swear, so lock your children up. Somebody from the FPE suggested that we all use Give instead of Google because um, they wanna boycott America and Google doesn't like them, blah, blah, blah. So we should use Give. That is because the day that Habib Rizik died, Abdul Somad was born. You see, I could see why the FPE was mad at Google. What a coincidence. The day Habib Rizik disappears, Abdul Somad starts booming. And Abdul Somad has done so much better than Habib Rizik ever did. In fact, I think he's going to be a very critical figure in Indonesia during the next few years. Back to the point. I was already kind of interested in whether or not Google was supporting or suppressing Islam um, in their search suggestions. Are they trying to brainwash us to think uh, positively or negatively about Islam? My results are pretty interesting. If I type into Google search, hijab is, 80 to 90% of the results are pro hijab. Hijab itu jilbab dalam bahasa Inggris. But if I use Bing, you can try this with uh, Give. Give and Bing are the same search engine. They will give you the same results. And I enter the same search, I'm going to get 70% anti hijab results. I think this suggests that Google is actually censoring negative results about hijab in order to protect the Muslim community and not to insult them. We are going to search for jilbab and I will get 0% pornographic suggestions. Let's try Bing. 37.5% porn. Nyepong means like blowjob. When I type in jilbab, it, it tells me jilbab nyepong is something that I probably meant. The third one, bokep, that means porn. Nyentot, that means um, have sex. It's a really like, it's a swear word. Quite a bit of porn coming up just when I type in jilbab. Is that accurate or not? Let's test this out with visualizing Google data. The number one result that Google gave us for jilbab was Afra. Uh, number two was Instan. And let's compare it to Bing, who said we probably meant Nyapong. You can see here that more people are searching for Jilbab Nyapong, a woman in a headscarf giving a blowjob. More people are searching for Jilbab Instan than they are for Jilbab Afra. Jilbab Afra is a product, so um, probably somebody paid to have that at number one. It's not because people were looking for it. This makes me think that Google is a bit corrupt. Google very much censors their suggestions. Don't automatically think that, oh, Indonesians are looking for this. No, um, they might be looking for something else. Look at that red bar. That's why Bing suggested it to you because that's what people are searching for. Jilbab bokep itu, you know, like, <laughs> Is that like all over the world or is it just Indonesia? Well, it's just Indonesia. Karena itu bahasa Indonesia. Tapi kalau kita uh, masukin bahasa Inggris hijab porn, it's also a fetish in Ethiopia. But it's just you guys. Um, Indonesia and Ethiopia. Untuk buktikan bahwa Google itu sangat melindungi image Islam, I'm gonna Google terrorists and see 
what my suggestions are. Nothing about Islam, nothing about Muslims. Let's try Bing. Number four, terrorists, Muslim. Because they're hearing it and they don't understand it and they're searching for it. Okay? So that's reality. <laughs> Google is trying to censor that so that you're not discriminating against Muslims. Google will be lebih coba melindungi Islam sebenarnya. Let's see. Um, karena Google tadinya mau melindungi biar anak-anak tidak nonton jilbab bokep kan diumpetin. So let's just try bokep pada umumnya. Bing, aku masukin B O K dan keluarnya bokep sama bokep Jepang. Okay, karena bokep Jepang lagi trending. Let's compare that to um, Google. If you type B O K E into Google, gak bakal keluar bokep. Bokep is porn in Bahasa Indonesia. Whereas in Bing, you only have to type B O K, lalu keluarnya bokep. But this is cool. If you just type in the letter B into Google, yeah, google.co.id, I mean, they know I'm in Indonesia. The second suggestion for me after I type B is bokeh video full. Right after the number one suggestion, who is the sponsor for the letter B, Bukalapak, which is a site where you uh, jual beli. But the second suggestion, even after just the letter B, is bokeh video full. Bokeh, Meaning like uh, videonya jelas, subjectnya jelas, tapi backgroundnya blur gitu. Itu bokeh. Why would like, why would there be like a bokeh full video? That's weird, right? Like who wants to watch a full video on that? It's even above bola. Very popular. Why is this above bola? Bola. Why? Because bokeh is the new term for bokeh. The Indonesians have figured out a way to do the whole porn thing without the algorithm like canceling out that term. Akalnya orang Indonesia itu gak bisa dimainin, alright? People say sometimes, orang Indonesia bodoh. No, they're not. They have the akal more than any akal of any human being. Boke has been increasing. Paling banyak orang yang uh, searching boke itu dari Indonesia. There's not that many photographers, come on, all right? Th this is their alias. Lebih tinggi dari bola. Padahal orang lebih sering searching bola. Aku pikir Google mau mengajarkan masyarakat bahwa, Psst, kita masih ada loh. Tapi namanya bokeh sekarang. Brilliant! It's brilliant. Karena bagaimana kita bisa sensor kata bokeh. Kata bokeh juga dibutuhkan untuk pendidikan uh, photography. Google juga melindungi minoritas di Amerika. Black people are often victims of discrimination. So let's take the dreaded N-word and let's type that into Google. Will Google complete my search? G-E, no, they will not. That word is completely non-existent according to Google. If we type black people, they're suggesting to me that I, I'm probably looking for black people comedy. Zero negative search results. But in fact, more people on Google search for black people crime, which is one of the stereotypes. And Google is um, hiding it. They want to protect them from discrimination. A smart person would know that not all black people are criminals. Uh, but Google thinks people are stupid. They're trying to protect them from discrimination. Let's try Bing. Again, zero negative uh, search suggestions. The question I have here now is, do they do the same thing for Indonesia's minority groups? Let's Google the C word. And look what Google suggested for me. Let's try the same on Bing. Hmm, Bing didn't have any relevant suggestions. I wonder why. Probably because there aren't any people searching for that. 
Let's confirm this on Google Trends. No sufficient data. Because nobody searches for that. So why did Google suggest that for me? I think this recent divide is created. I don't think it's natural. Why are you protecting certain groups of people and you're not protecting other groups of people and it looks like you're actually supporting the divide? This video is only entertainment. We learned from um, Jill Bob Afra that you can pay to have something suggested when you type a certain word. So, is it possible that somebody paid Google? So, bukan Google sendiri yang mau itu, tapi apakah ada orang yang bayar ke Google untuk supaya itu di suggest? Maybe. I don't know who would pay for that, but I don't think it's your neighbor. Obviously, Google is not protecting Indonesia's minority groups. Back to porn. Actually, the search term China is, is Nike. I didn't even know that that was a derogatory term. And in fact, it's not always 100% a derogatory term. Mungkin mirip sama kata bule. You know, it depends on the intonation of the person saying it. But the correct term, the politically correct term is Tianghua. But in Google, they don't search for that. When you're searching for, you know, bokep from China, you're not going to be searching for uh, bokep Tianghua. You're going to be searching for Bokep China. Let's get to the point here. All right? They're not searching for China Itui Chik. They're searching for Bokep China. It's the most wonderful time of the year. We don't want China Itui Chik. We want Bokep China. You know, I should end the video here, but I want to add an extra segment called Also Interesting. Hukum Islam versus Jilba Bokep. Which one is more in demand? Jilba Bokep. <coughs> Jangan marah sama saya. Bukan gue yang searching ini. Perdera siapa yang lebih menarik hukum Islam? Siapa lebih suka uh, Jilba Bokep? Yang merah. Jilba Bokep berarti also interesting. The search term Islam, and this is for the whole planet, come from Indonesia. More than Pakistan, more than Saudi Arabia. Also interesting, I was going to uh, type hukum Islam. What was suggested to me after four letters, hukum menghisap kemaluan. So I checked that out. Now what the hell happened between March 19th and March 25th that all of a sudden a whole bunch of people started searching all of a sudden the Islamic ruling on a wife sucking her husband's penis. One week they're like, I want a blowjob from my wife. And then they're like, nah. And then they just forgot about it. If you know what happened during that week, please put it in the comments below. Also interesting, there is another thing that they like even more than blowjobs. Anal sex. I'm not making this up. No, it's anal everywhere. In every province in Indonesia, lebih banyak suka anal sex dari para oral sex. You know, they're probably just watching to be like, ew. That's never watching that again. They're probably just doing that. Also interesting, and this is the last one. This was suggested to me when I was playing around with visualizing Google data. Chewe chewe pangilan denpasar. So I'm like, oh. And then I thought, oh, maybe I should try Bandung and Jakarta too. So here is the demand for chewe chewe pangilan. And I'm like, oh, th that's like really seasonal. Yeah? Let's start with the middle one. Chewe chewe pangilan Bandung. Itu yang biru. Right there at the tip is... Ido Fitri. So anything before it is actually during Ramadan. Jadi mungkin ini orang yang pacaran yang pikir ah jangan pacaran dulu ah Ramadan gitu. Because I I do know that that's part of Indonesian culture. The moment he told his girlfriend kita sole dulu, he called up somebody in Bandung. Look, isn't that crazy? That's cray cray. I'm not judging. You can do whatever. I'm just observing.
I don't enjoy this, by the way. Maybe you're wondering, what about Denpasar? Gunung Agung. Gunung Agung, Uda Bahaya. So that's a volcano in Indonesia, right? And all of a sudden, with the danger of the volcano, up goes the income of the hookers. Isn't that weird? I don't understand why. Kalau kamu ngerti kenapa itu, you can write it in the description box. Aku menarik tu, but akal saya enggak sampai. I don't know why. Now the kuning is the um, cewe-cewe panggilan di Jakarta. Why did it peak right there? I checked the Indonesian calendar. It was Imlek. It's the most wonderful time. You can see the map here. The ones that are looking for hookers in Jakarta, they're from Papua and Bantan. The ones that are looking for hookers in Bandung, that's Jawa Barat. And what's this place? Ya, lo taola. The rest of Indonesia is going to Denpasar to get some nuki. And that's my video today. So if I was FPE, I probably wouldn't tell my followers to use Give or Bing. I would probably get them to go use Google because Google is more pro-Islam and protective of Islam and less reflective of reality, which is what I want from my peeps, right? So food for thought.